Buenos dias, Egunon. Good morning. It is a pleasure to open the 2022 Congress of the World Federation of Colleges and Polytechnics. This Congress showcases the importance of technical and vocational education and training in driving innovation and developing future skills for the workforce. This year's theme, TVET Excellence for All, aligns with the European Pillar of Social Rights, which is our guiding compass towards a strong social Europe, a Europe that is fair, inclusive and full of good opportunities. The first principle of the pillar states that everyone has the right to quality and inclusive education, training and lifelong learning. To ensure that our current and future workforce has skills needed for a fair digital and green transition and to contribute to an inclusive recovery, vocational education and training can play a key role. I am happy to share that the EU intends to finance more than 100 centers of vocational excellence by 2027. Many more are being established all over the world with the objective of modernizing VAT systems based on the concept developed in Europe. In fact, the Basque country is setting the standard for vocational excellence. Most of the Basque VAT centers can be classified as centers of vocational excellence, as they provide multiple services beyond initial training. They are aligned with regional innovation strategies, and they partner up with key agents at both regional and international levels. In response to the war in Ukraine, our European VET systems have also shown flexibility by providing a rapid response in support of Ukrainian learners, teachers and trainers. We must build on that innovation and flexibility and ensure that vocational education and training continue to effectively respond to the fast-changing labour market. This is why this Congress is taking place in the Basque country, one of the key regions of Spain that is making VET a synonym of quality and excellence. I wish to thank the World Federation of Colleges and Polytechnics and the Basque authorities for organizing this Congress. And I thank all the participants for your contributions to ensure that VAT is fit for tackling the challenges ahead of us.